Okay, here we are with lesson 2.1, logical form and logical equivalence. A statement or proposition is a sentence that is true or false, but not both. So let's list a few examples of sentences that are propositions. Sentences that are clearly either true or false. We can say, it is sunny, or I like apples right? True or false. Um, okay, some examples of sentences that are not prepositions. So it's a hard to tell if they're true or false, or they're sometimes true and sometimes false. Um, so an example mathematically would be x squared plus 2 equals 11. Sometimes that's true and sometimes it's false, depending on what the value of x is. Another mathematical example, x plus y is greater than zero. Sometimes true, sometimes false, depending on the values of x and y. Or another one, um, not mathematical one, would be I like people. Okay? For me, definitely depends on the day. We can use not, and, and or to build more complicated compound statements. Consider the following two arguments with differing content but the same form. We're going to use letters to represent each of the statements in these arguments um, and will help us to differentiate between the form of the argument and the content of the argument. Okay, so if the bell rings or the flag drops, then the race is over. Therefore, if the race is over, then the bell has not rung and the flag has not dropped. So there are several versions of just um, a couple of statements in this argument. So we have the bell rings, let's call that statement P. And the flag drops, we'll call that statement Q. And the race is over, we're going to call that statement R. Now there are no new statements in here, we have um, some connecting words and some negations, but no new statements. So here, the race is not over, that is not R. The bell has not rung, that is not P. And the flag hasn't dropped, that's not Q. So I can translate this, it says if P or Q, then R. Okay, so that's the first sentence. Therefore, which is denoted with three dots in a triangle, if not R, then not P, and not Q. So you notice I used a lot of symbols saves a lot of time writing. So this upside down V represents or, the three dots in a triangle, therefore, the little squiggly in front of a letter represents not, and the upside down V represents and. Sorry, the regular V is or, upside down V, and. Okay, so let's do this again. Different sentence. If x equals two or x equals negative two, then x squared equals 4. Therefore, if x squared does not equal 4, then x does not equal 2, and x does not equal negative 2. So let's label each statement with a letter. So x equals 2, that's a statement, we'll call it P. x equals negative 2, that's another statement, Q. x squared equals 4, we'll call that R. Therefore, if x squared does not equal 4, that's not R, then x does not equal 2, not p, and x does not equal negative 2, not q. So I translate it, replacing each statement with its letter. We have if p, forgot to use a symbol, or q, then r. Therefore, not, uh, therefore, if not r,
then not P and not Q. Okay, name each statement in the arguments below with a letter and translate them using those letters and symbols. So same, um, same activity we were just doing. We're gonna translate to symbols these arguments. If Jane is a math major, so that will be our first statement, Jane is a math major, P, or Jane is a computer science major, Q. Then Jane will take CSC 201, R. Jane is a computer science major. That is, we've already named that one, it's Q. Therefore, Jane will take CSC 201. R. So when I translate, this says if P or Q, then R. Q, therefore R. So this is the form of the argument versus the content of the argument. The form P and Q and R could be any sentences at all that are either true or false, and we can represent them in this format. Okay, one more. If logic is easy or I study hard, then I will get an A in this course. I study hard, therefore I will get an A in this course. So let's label each statement. Logic is easy. That will be P. I study hard. That will be Q. I will get an A in this course. That will be R. I study hard. P. I will get an A in this class. R. So if P or Q, then R. P, therefore R. Note that in expressions that include the symbol for not, as well as the symbols for and or or, the order of operations for symbolic operators, logic operators, is that not is performed first. You can think of it as times negative one, right? And and or are like addition, and a not is like a negative sign. So we do the negative first. Okay, so we want to write a couple more sentences symbolically, letting H be it is hot and S be it is sunny. It is not hot, but it is sunny. So it is not hot, that is not H. We don't have a symbol for but, but it would mean the same thing if I wrote it is not hot and it is sunny. But it is sunny and it is sunny. They have the same meaning. So it is not hot and it is sunny, not H and S. It is neither hot nor sunny. It is not hot and it is not sunny. Both things are true, not hot, not sunny. So we use and. Okay, let's suppose X is a particular real number P is going to be the statement x is greater than 0, Q is x is less than 3, and R represents x equals 3. Write the following inequalities symbolically. So x is less than or equal to 3. So x is less than 3 is Q, or x equals 3, which is R. X is between 0 and 3. That means that X is bigger than 0, P, and X is smaller than 3. So P and Q. And here I have X sandwiched between 0 and 3, but I have an OR equal to. So I have an AND statement and an OR statement in here. So X is bigger than 0, that is P. And x is less than or equal to 3, which I know how to say that. It's q or r. So I'm going to put and q or r. C 
since every statement has a truth value, true or false, we'll now investigate the truth of various compound statements. So negation, you would read as not P, has the opposite truth value from P. So we can make something called a truth table that summarizes all possibilities for the truth of a statement P and its negation not P. All right, so I've just made a table and I put P and not P in it. And I just want to summarize all the possibilities. So P can be true or false. And not P will always have the opposite truth value from P. So when P is true, not P is false. And when P is false, not P is true. And this summarizes all the possibilities. P and not P it could be true and false or false and true. A conjunction that is um, an and statement, P and Q, is true if and only if both P and Q are both true. Otherwise, P and Q is false. So before we fill in the table, let's just look at the example. Is the following statement true or false? It is warm and it is cold. This is a false statement. You can't possibly be both things, and that's what and indicates, that both statements are true. Um, they can't both be true, so this statement has to be false. Now we'll do the more formal truth table. I'm dealing with two statements here, P and Q, so I have a column for each one, and then I'm going to analyze the truth of the conjunction. So P and Q. So P could be true, and Q could be true. P could be true, and Q could be false. P could be false, and Q could be true, and P could be false, and Q could be false. Those are all the possibilities that we can combine the truth and falseness of two statements, P and Q. Now, P and Q is only true if both P and Q are both true. So in this case, we have true, because I've got true, true, so the two of them together with an and is true. Now, every other possibility, we have a true and a false, a false and a true, and a false and a false. So the P and Q will be false in all of those other statements. Okay, the only way an and statement is true is if both contributing statements are true. Now let's look at a disjunction, the word or versus the word and. P or Q is true when either P is true or Q is true or both P and Q are true. It is false only if they are both false. So for an example, if I use the word or from the example earlier instead of and, we can say it is warm or it is cold. That is true because one of them would, would have to be true. True. You only need one of the statements to be true in order to get true for an or statement. So all the possibilities, we have P could be true or and Q could be true. They could both be true. P could be true and Q could be false. P could be false and Q could be true or they could both be false. So the or statement, I only need one statement to be true or both. So I have true, 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 because each of these rows has at least one true in it, but the last row I have false, false. So P or Q would have to be false. For more complicated compound statements, we evaluate their truth by following rules similar to those used to evaluate algebraic expressions. So the order of operations goes, parentheses, then not, then and and or. And these happen in the same step, much like addition and subtraction in the arithmetic order of operations. Okay, so I want to look at a truth table for a somewhat complicated statement, compound statement. So I have P or Q and not P and Q. So I want to analyze when is this statement true. For what, what truth values of P and Q give me a true compound statement and, or, and a false compound statement? So there's only two statements that make up this 
complicated compound statement, P and Q. So all my possibilities are true, 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 false. False, oops. False, true, and false, false. So P or Q, it's an or statement, so I need one or both uh, statements to be true in order to get a true here. So this would be true, 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 false. The last one's false because I have false, false. You need at least one true for an or statement to be true. Okay, P and Q is my next column. I'm slowly building up to this compound statement. So P or Q is a piece of the compound statement, so that's why I did that next. P and Q is a piece of the compound statement, so I'm going to do that next. Okay, so P and Q, I need to look at the truth of P and Q, and the only way an and statement can be true is if they are both true. So I have true, true, true. Then I have true, false, false, true, and false, false. So the rest of these each have at least a false, which means that they are all false when we take the and statement. Now I have not P and Q. So that is a piece of my larger compound statement, not P and Q. So I'm going to make that a column, and it's just going to negate all of the truth values from the P and Q column. So I get false, true, true, true. And then finally, I have a column, which is the truth column for the compound statement I am interested in. So it's P or Q and not P or not P and Q. So I am looking at the P or Q column. So let's highlight this one. And the not P and Q column. And I want to look at what the um, conjunction of those two columns is. So I'm looking for the and. Okay, I have an and between them. So the only way the and statement is true is if both statements are true. So I have true, false. That's false. True, true. That's true. True, true. True. And false, true, which is false. Okay, so for that one, I, ga I gave you a pre-made truth table, like with the columns set up. For this next one, we're going to set up the truth table from scratch. So I want to construct a truth table for the statement P and Q or not R. So I actually have three statements here, P, Q, and R. So those are what I start with in my truth table. I need a column for P, for Q, and for R. All right, and then I'm going to build up to this compound statement. So in this statement, I have a P and Q in parentheses. So I'm going to do that next. I'm going to do P and Q. Okay, and then I also have a statement not R. And the order of operations, right, says do the parentheses, then do the nots. So I'm going to do not R. And then finally, I'm going to do the, this last or statement. So I have P and Q or not R. All right, so I have to come up with all the possible truth combinations for P, Q, and R. All three of them could be true. Okay. Then I could have true, true, false. Then I could have true, false, true. And I could have true, false, false. Okay, so those are all the ways that I can have P be true. And now I can start making P false. So if P starts out false, I could have two trues after it. I could have a true, false. I could have a false, true and I could have two falses. OK, 
Okay, now we can go about filling in the columns of the truth table. So for P and Q, I'm looking at the columns for P and for Q, and it's an and statement, so I need both um, statements to be true in order to get a true um, in the P and Q column. So here I have true, true, which means I put a true here because I have two trues. Then I have true, true, so I have another true here. Then I have true, false, so this is false. True, false, false, true, false, true, false, 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 false. None of the rest are true, true. So I'm just going to fill the rest in with falses. Okay, my next column is not R, not R. So I'm going to look at my R column and just change all of the truth values to their opposites. So R is going to go, instead of true, I have false. False becomes true. False, true, false, true, false, true. And then I can make my final P and Q or not R. I'll highlight the columns that we're using. Um, P and Q. This is one of the columns I'm analyzing here. And um, my other column is not R. So highlight that one. But I am combining these two statements with an or. Okay, so that means I need one true in order to get the or statement to be true. I need one or two trues. Okay, so I have true, false. So I only need one true, so that's true. You only need one true for an or statement. True, true, true. False, false, that's false. False, true, true. False, false. It's false. False, true, true. False, false, false. False, true, true. Okay, so part of the reason that we make these truth tables is to help us determine when two statements are logically equivalent. So two statements are logically equivalent if and only if they have identical truth tables. So we want to show that the statements not P and Q and not P and not Q are not logically equivalent. So there is no, you can't like quote unquote distribute this not sign into your P and Q. So we want to prove that you can't do that, that those two statements are not the same thing. So I have just two statements, P and Q, in my two compound statements. So I only have the options of true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. And then I have built the truth table already. Um, I need not P, a not Q, I need a P and Q, and not P and Q. Um, and then finally, the not P and not Q. So I've put them all in here. Um, not P just negates my P's. So I have false, false, true, true. And not Q negates my Q's. So I have false, true, false, true. P and Q is going to look at this column and this column. And we're combining them with an and, which means I need two trues to get a true. The only time I have two trues is in this first row. So that one's going to give me a true, and all the others will give me false. And then not P and Q just negates the P and Q column. So I have false, true, true, true. So that is one of my statements that I'm interested in. I wanted to explore the logical equivalence of this one and this one. So I'm going to do the not P and not Q last. So I'm looking at my not P column and my not Q column, and I'm combining them with an and, which means I need two trues to get a true. Now the only time I have two trues is down here, where not P and not Q are both true. 
It's in the last column. The rest of them are false, so I'm going to put a true down here, and the rest get falses. And then finally, the whole purpose of this truth, this mega truth table, was to look at this statement and this statement. And if their truth values are not always the same, then they are not logically equivalent to each other. And I have false, false, and then true, false, and true, false, and true, true. So there are two times when they do not have the same truth value. So this column and this column are not the same, which tells me that not P and Q is not the same thing as not P and not Q. They are not the same. Um, this triple equal sign, it just means logically equivalent. You can think of it as equals. Um, it's just a special symbol for when we're dealing with truth values. And yeah, just wrote it there. Triple equal denotes logical equivalence of two statements. Okay, so if it's if it's not true, what we just what we just looked at was um, not p and q, and we said it's definitely not the same thing as not p and not q. We wonder. Um, is there a way, is there a sort of distribution thing? So it turns out that there is um, a way to simplify not P and Q, and you use De Morgan's laws to do it. So De Morgan's laws says that not P and Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. So we want to verify this with a truth table. So we'll build this one from scratch for practice. So there's two statements in here, just P and Q. Um, P can be true, Q can be true. You could have true, false, false, true, and false, false. Okay, so now I need um, P and Q following the order of operations on the left here, you do what's in the parentheses first. So we do P and Q, then we negate it. So then I do not P and Q. And then I'm gonna to add to my truth table to make this statement on the right, which includes a not P, a not Q, and then I combine them with an or, right? The order of operations says do the nots first. So I have not P, not Q, and then combine them with an or, not P or not Q. And now I'm just going to fill in the truth table. So for this first column, it's P and Q. An and statement requires two trues. So I have true, true, so this is true. True, false, 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 true, false, 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 false. Then not P and Q is just going to negate the... Um, P and Q column, so it's going to become false, true, true, true. Not P negates the P column, so it's going to become false, false, true, true. Not Q changes all the truth values of the Q column, so I have false, true, false, true. And then not P or not Q, so I'm looking at the not P and the not Q column, combining with an or, which requires one true for truth. So I have false, false, that one's going to be false. False, true, 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 false, true, 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 true. One true gets you a true over here. Two falses is the only way to get a false. So I have false, true, true, true. And then when you look at the not P and Q column, and the not P or not Q column, those are the two statements we were interested in. You can see that their truth values are identical. False, false, true, 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 true. 
true, true. Their columns are identical. That makes those two statements logically equivalent. They always have the same truth value as the other. All right, so just like we can do the negation of an and statement, De Morgan's law also includes the negation of an or statement, and the law looks similar. Not, not P or Q is not equivalent to not P or not Q, but to not P and not Q. So it's sort of like, sort of looks like distribution. If you put the not on each statement and the and or or sign flips over, becomes the opposite. All right, so let's verify this next De Morgan's law with another truth table. So let's see, we've got P and Q as the two base statements. And from those base statements, we will build up the rest of the truth table following the order of operations. So I'm going to start with the left-hand side. I need to end up with a not P or Q, and the order of operations says to do the or first. So I'm going to make a column for P or Q, and then we do the not, so not P or Q. And then as I work on the right-hand side, I'm going to do the nots first and then the and. So I need a not P, a not Q, and a not P and not Q. Okay, the possibilities for P and Q for their truth values would be true, true, or true, false, or false, true, or false, false. P or Q, an or statement requires at least one true, one or two trues. So that means uh, looking at the two columns before it, I have true, 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 false. Next, we negate the P or Q column. So that just becomes false, 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 true. Okay, not P, I just reverse the truth values for P, false, False, true, true. Not Q becomes false, true, false, true. And then not P and Q, that's these two columns, connected with an and, which means I am looking for two trues in order to put a true here. So I have false, 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 true, true, false, true, true. There we go. Okay, now the question was, is this statement logically equivalent to this statement? So not P or Q, that's this one. Okay, is that the exact same column as not P and not Q? Do they always have the same truth value? And the answer is yes. We have false, 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 true, true. Let's use De Morgan's laws to write the negation of each of the following statements. John is six feet tall and he weighs at least 200 pounds. I wanna do the opposite of that, I wanna negate it. So we have an and statement. John is six feet tall, that'll be our P. He weighs at least 200 pounds, that'll be our Q. So this is a P and Q statement. To negate it, Remember, we have to use De Morgan's Laws, which says it becomes not P or not Q. So not P would be John is not six feet tall. Or um, John is not at least 200 pounds, which would mean he weighs less than 200 pounds. Okay, another one, similar. The bus was late or Tom's watch was slow. So we have two statements. The bus was late, P. Tom's watch was slow, Q. So this is an or statement and I wanna negate it. So I want not P 
or Q, which De Morgan's Law says becomes not P and not Q. So we would write that as the bus was not late and Tom's watch was not slow. And another example where we're going to use De Morgan's Laws to write the negation of negative 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. So <clears throat> first I'm going to rewrite this compound inequality as an and statement. So it says that negative 1 is less than x and x is less than or equal to 4. So that's an and statement translated this compound inequality to an AND statement, and now I'm going to negate it. Okay, so this is my P, and this is my Q, and I need to negate each of them, and I'll change the AND to an OR. So it is not the case that X is bigger than negative 1 would translate to x is less than or equal to 1. Or, it is not the case that x is less than or equal to 4, which means that x would have to be greater than 4. A tautology is a statement that is always true. For example, P or not P, right? For an OR statement, you only need one of them to be true for the whole statement to be true. So def P or not P will always be, one of them will be true, making the whole OR statement true. And a contradiction is a statement that is always false. For example, P and not P, because for an AND statement, both statements need to be true, and that can never happen with P and not P. <clears throat> if T is a tautology, we want to show that P and T is logically equivalent to P. So we do that with a truth table. That's how we show logical equivalence. So I have two statements, P and T. And then I need to combine them into an AND statement, P and T. And I want to compare this set of truth values to the original P truth values. Okay, so P could be true or false. And little t is a tautology, which means it's always true. So I put in true for both of those. P and T. For an and statement, you need two truths. So this one's true and this one's false. Then we're going to look at P and T, the column for P and T and compare it to the column for just P. And you see that those two columns are identical in their truth values, true, false, true, false, which means that they are logically equivalent. P is logically equivalent to P and any tautology. Now, a similar statement says that if C is a contradiction, P and C is logically equivalent to C. So we'll make a similar truth table. P, C, P, and C. Okay, so P can be true or false. A contradiction is always false. And then for an AND statement, you need two trues to get a true. So we get false and false. Now we're trying to compare P and C, this one, to just C, this one. And you can see they have identical truth tables, false, 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 false. So P and C is in fact logically equivalent to C. So this handy table, um, lists a bunch of logical equivalencies 
You can check any of them using a truth table. We've done a bunch of them in this lecture, but not all of them. Um, but once you know these 11, you can use them to show further logical equivalencies without having to create a truth table. So you can create a, a chain of logical equivalencies to prove a new logical equivalency. For example, we want to show that not, not P and Q and P or Q, we want to show that it's logically equivalent to just plain old P. It's a really complicated looking statement equivalent to just plain old P. So I'm going to try to use some of these laws to simplify this, to, to write a chain of logical equivalencies that ends with just P. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is deal with this negation um, using De Morgan's law. Okay, so the order of operations says that we deal with the parentheses first. There's nothing to do in here, but I am going to quote unquote distribute that negative using De Morgan's laws right here. So I'm going to get, this is logically equivalent to not not P would be P or not Q. And then I still have and P or Q. So all I did in that one step was, was deal with this negation using De Morgan's law. Okay, next I'm going to look at the distributive law. Okay, so I'm going to look at this law right here that tells me that P or quantity Q and R is the same thing as P or Q and P or R. And I'm working backwards here. I have a P or, instead of Q, we have a not Q but then and P or Q. So instead of an R, I have a Q, but this is the form of what I have right here. Okay, I have an or, and, and then another or with parentheses around the ors. So this is what I have, and I'm gonna go backwards to translate to what this is. Okay, so this is gonna be logically equivalent to, so I definitely am gonna use a P but then instead of a Q here, we have a not Q. So it's going to be P or, open a parentheses, not Q. And then the next thing here is an and, and then it's going to be an R, but the R is just the last thing here, which is Q. And Q. Okay. We have another rule in here that says um, P and not P is a contradiction. Of course, you P and Q and not Q can't um, is a contradiction, which means it's always false. Right? P and not P is a contradiction. Ours is Q and not Q, but the same rule applies. It's the same form. So this is logically equivalent to P or a contradiction. And then another rule that P or a contradiction right here is P, right? Because you only need one truth to be true. So P or a contradiction, we'll just give P. 